Hey, Dave Altavilla for Hot Hardware here at CES 2024 in Las Vegas with my friend Jason from Intel, and he is going to demo for us a very interesting application that is uh, powered by Unreal Engine 4 and Intel's Raptor Lake laptop, and basically recreating an AI avatar of you fully modeled in 3D. Jason, take it away, buddy. Yeah, so it, for someone like me who has absolutely no experience doing any kind of 3D animation work with this plugin in Unreal Engine, it's now all possible. And then we are using our four, new 14th gen HX series processors to help make that happen. All right, so the first step here is actually doing the keyframe analysis in a video. Uh, so again, this video is captured using an iPhone for what we use here, uh, but it's compatible with Samsung phones, any phone with depth sensing information. Mm. So now is the first part is, is we're gonna, we've already um, lined out where his smiles are, his eyes and his eyebrows. Now we just need to process the, meta, the metadata and the keyframe data. So just by clicking prepare for performance here, this is the part that does the CPU, very CPU uh, intensive work. You can see all the, all the threads are peaking up here, starting yep. to load up. All 24 cores, 32 threads are being fired up to uh, work on this. So this is a Core i9-14900HX, yep. which is a new announcement for you guys here at CES. That's correct. Cool. Yep, so we kind of skip this part here. We have, uh, we're moving on to the next step here of this uh, creation process, is actually applying this now, that, that metadata we've already analyzed, into an actual 3D skeletal mesh. So in this part here, this is exactly what it looks like. I'm going to hit, just hit play. And as you can see, the same video footage is now being generated in real time and processed onto a 3D skeletal mesh. Man, and it's, he's moving in real time too. That's impressive. Yep. Nice and smooth, just like the original human subject. Absolutely. So cool. again, this is why I say this is a game changer because someone who are, think of indie game devs or you know, production studios who don't have a lot of you know, the whole full staff to back it up. It's now possible with just a single system, single user. Now this is an Unreal uh, application. Yes, this is a plugin for Unreal plug Engine. Plugin for Unreal Engine, yep. got it. Okay. So let's go ahead and pan cool. over. Uh, same guy, we've actually scanned him into Unreal Engine. Here's a meta human version of him. And now this is the finished product after all of that, uh, which we timed it, it's about 10 to 15 minutes, depending on your system. And this is now possible, uh, which is a single system with no animation experience whatsoever. So it looks like eventually your actual likeness is going to come to video games. Except I'm not sure I would want to see myself die so much. <laughs> but that is wild. Thanks so much for the demo, Jason. This is great stuff with Intel at uh, CES 2024 in Las Vegas. Thanks again, bud. Thank you. Hey, it's Dave Altavilla for Hot Hardware here back at the Intel CES suite 2024 CES Las Vegas with my buddy Mike Bartz. You've probably met him before on a couple of our videos. And uh, Mike has an interesting demo today, an Intel 13th gen laptop, gaming performance versus Intel Core Ultra, current generation laptop, and uh, pretty impressive performance results. Mike, why don't you take it away? Yeah, so over here on the uh, left-hand side here, you can see our previous generation graphics. Uh, what we've done for both systems is we've locked them to 28 watts so we can get that isolation of that performance per watt over our previous generation. So here you can see we're getting about 25 frames per second, which eh, not, it's okay. We're running at a, pretty mi a mixture of medium and high settings at 1080p native right here. Mm -hmm. And then over here on the right hand side, we have our new Intel Core Ultra uh, and here also at 28 watts and see that we're getting up to 3x performance with XESS enabled. Well, without XESS, our gen on gen performance is about two, over greater than 2x performance. But with XESS, our AI upscaling, we're able to get up to 3x in some titles. So 2x before at, at ISO power. So 28 watts, both machines dialed in. It's the same machine, same thermal capacity, if you will, or thermal dissipation uh, capacity, Correct. if you will, on each machine, but both of them set a 28 watt power consumption. Correct. To uh, and, normalize the power draw. And, yep. the, and the nice thing about XCSS is that while you are working, using, utilizing a low resolution, uh, 
AI upscalers have the ability to correct uh, anomalies that traditional anti-aliasing have. So flickering, uh, such as on fences, foliage, uh, it can actually remove a lot of that noise and flickering and actually generate a better looking image than native. Cool, good stuff. Intel Core Ultra at CES 2024. Thanks, Mike. Hey, it's Dave Altavilla for Hot Hardware here back at CES 2024 with my buddy Jason from Intel. And we have yet another demo uh, with a three letter acronym called APO. Jason, why don't you tell the folks what APO is all, all about? All right. In APO stands for Intel Application Optimization. It's a new policy that we have uh, that leverages the Intel Dynamic Tuning Technology Framework. Um, this driver allows us to do a lot of fun things. Uh, and what happens with APO is we've prof we specifically profiled and tuned games, uh, and that way we get actually extra performance out of said games. Um, at a high level, a couple things that AP what APO can do uh, is that we do things like turn off the e-cores for a detected application, or turn off even hyper-threading uh, for a specific game. Uh, in this case, the demo we have here, uh, we're actually using um, Rainbow Six Siege. Uh, depending on your graphics settings, of course, um, it, we've seen performance results of up to 6 to 14% uh, boost just by turning on APO. Uh, again, both these systems here are our 14th gen Core i9-14900HX. This one here actually has APO on. These are the current uh, list of uh, supported games on this next release of APO. Uh, so look forward to that uh, later at the end of this month for the release. Um, and again, it's free performance boost just by turning on APO for these games. All right, and we have two identical systems here. One system here with APO turned off. The second system here right next to me is with APO on. We just finished running Rainbow Six Siege. Uh, on the left-hand side system here, you can see the result of an average of 504. Moving on to a system, again, identical to hardware specs. With APO turned on, we're getting a result of 586. So depending on your graphic settings, we're seeing up to 14% performance boost just by turning on APO. Nice, good stuff. And a bunch of games you had listed earlier mm -hmm. uh, that will be uh, available now or soon. Uh, it'll be coming up in the next release, uh, okay. slated for the end of this month, January here. Okay, yeah. cool. I saw F122 in there, I saw Dirt 5, I saw a bunch of good titles. Yep. So yep. coming up in uh, the next uh, next month or so. That's right, and we're absolutely looking into adding more in the future as well. Absolutely. Thanks, Jason. Thank you. Hey, it's Dave Altavilla again here at the Intel Suite for CES 2024 with an AB power comparison demo. And this is actually power draw at the chip level on these two laptops. On the left here, we have an AMD uh, Ryzen 7040U processor powered Asus Zenbook. It's a 13 inch machine. And on the right, we have an Intel Core Ultra powered machine, also an Asus Zenbook. 14 inch machine, so slightly larger, but very similar size format. And they're both, as you can see, playing some locally streaming video. Looks like some, uh, some high def video content. And up here on this graph, you can see a live power reading. On the top here is the AMD 7040U processor based system, the Zenbook powered by that, that processor. On the bottom, the blue graph, uh, plot line is the Intel Core Ultra chip. And here is with the low power uh, E-Core, low power island turned off. Here is when the low power island is kicked in and the E-Core is now managing that video along with the video engine, of, of course, on top of Core Ultra. Um, but when that low power uh, E-Core island is turned on, you see a significantly reduced power consumption. And then they flipped it back on uh, off in the end here to, uh, to show the difference. But right there, that's the power savings and the power saving versus uh, the competitive AMD product as well. And that's Intel's Core Ultra platform here at CES 2024. Thanks for checking us out at Hot Hardware.